Hi, I'm Ash from the Harry Potter Magic Awaken social team, and I'm here today to share some of my favorite decks and how they're played. The Fire Sail deck, utilizing the Hagrid Echo, is great for players that love big summons. Hagrid's Echo ability to heal and buff your highest cost summon card makes the Fiend Fire summon even more deadly. Use cards like Swelling Solution, Essence of Dittany, to keep your high cost summons alive and buffed. Keep your Witch or Wizard moving fast with Baby Manticorps so that you can better support your high cost summon with heals and buffs. Pair these cards with the Area of Effect cards of your choice to round out a great deck with solid survivability. If dealing direct damage is more your style, this Sectum Sempra deck utilizing the Snape Echo is excellent for out-damaging your opponent. The Snape Echo enhances your basic attacks, so other spells and companions that boost your basic attacks combo great with this deck. Use Kevin Farrell's ability to boost the DPS of your standard attacks and keep him alive with a healing spell of your choice. This means that spells like Time Turner, which creates a duplicate of your Witch or Wizard, also benefits from this buff. Combo the Snape Echo, Kevin's buff, and Obscurus to deal massive damage in a short amount of time. Finally, the Dark Hermione deck uses both the Hermione Echo and the Hermione Companion to overwhelm your opponent with fast damage. Hermione's Echo ability reduces the cost of your spells, allowing you to cast very expensive spells on the cheap. This means you can stack your deck with low-cost spells, such as Expulso and Inflatus, only to unleash deadly spells, such as Avada Kedavra, for only three magic points. The three-headed dog summon also synergizes quite well with this deck and can usually be summoned later in the match for next to no MP. Thanks for watching. Let us know what some of your favorite decks are in the replies below and be sure to give us a follow on our social channels.